Now things have changed. Now we have multiple sightings by multiple modes. That is the gold standard. The gold standard for looking for these objects. The Arctic region is one of the coldest and most unexplored parts of the Earth. From creatures like polar bears to aquatic creatures, whatever survives here must necessarily have some special adaptation. The same goes for Antarctica. The intense cold and nothingness in these extreme parts of the Earth make digging for information very uncomfortable and difficult. But recently, scientists have managed to drill into the ice in these regions to uncover groundbreaking discoveries. And NASA has found something quite shocking in the Arctic Ocean that seems out of this world, catching the attention of experts like Michio Kaku. What did NASA find in the Arctic? And what do these discoveries tell us about the Earth and our existence? Join us as we explore how Michio Kaku reveals to us what the Navy saw while diving in the Arctic. The Antarctic and Arctic regions of the Earth are two places humankind has least explored. Deep beneath the ice in these regions is a hidden world waiting to be discovered. Very few humans can survive in the Arctic, much less explore it. What makes exploration difficult here isn't the terrible cold, but the ice. Unlike other parts of the Earth where you can just dig the soil to uncover fossils or ancient artifacts, nothing much can be done in the Arctic until you break or drill through the ice. But scientists have finally taken it upon themselves to crack the ice and uncover secrets about the Arctic, especially the mystery regarding why it is warming faster than any other part of the world. This expedition has led to the discovery of something no one would have imagined. These scientists stumbled upon a unique set of life forms under the ice, it was an unexpected, bustling underwater community of aquatic creatures that had been secretly thriving beneath the ice all this time. The exploration team, consisting of some adventurous researchers from New Zealand, discovered this by drilling through about 500 meters of ice. They just wanted to see what was far down below, and the most they had hoped for was an icy, uninhabited river or an ancient rock. So you can imagine their surprise when their camera got swarmed by several tiny shrimp-like creatures which were later found to be amphipods. Amphipods are very small, with a body length of 0.4 to 11 inches. These creatures are diverse species and can survive in salt water and fresh water. However, no one knew they could survive in the Arctic, at least not until now. At first, the research team couldn't determine what they were because they covered the camera, making the images blurry. The team had to reposition the camera before they could finally make sense of the situation. These creatures seemed happy to welcome the visitor from above and threw a welcome party for the camera. Amphipods are distant cousins of lobsters and crabs. Craig Stevens of the National Institute of Water and Atmospherics, one of the scientists on this expedition, was baffled at this discovery. He revealed that the team had initially thought the camera was bad until they made some adjustments to refocus the lens and realized that the amphipods community was the cause of the issue downhole. The creatures were tiny, about five millimeters, but there were many. Scientists all over the world are excited at this discovery. It's just the same way archaeologists feel when they find long-lost fossils or artifacts. This seemingly unremarkable discovery gives us an insight into the mysterious Arctic and tells us a little more about how the melting of the ice shelf caused by climate change is related to the ecosystems down the ocean. Before now, we've only been fascinated with the Antarctic due to the amazing animals like whales, penguins, and polar bears that thrive there. However, it would seem we're in for more surprises. This discovery could be the first of many more to come, proving that even in the harshest environments, nature always finds a way to thrive. Bear in mind that just a tiny part of the polar ice cap was drilled into, and it's very insignificant compared to the mega-sized region. Scientists still have a whole lot of ground to cover. Prior experiments on parts of the ice shelf have now proven not so reliable. More research and discovery must be made to discover the true impact and consequences of climate change on the ice shelf. But in the meantime, it's still a joy to witness this vibrant ecosystem we never knew existed. No doubt, we've long known about secret lakes and rivers hiding beneath the Antarctic ice sheets, but we've never ventured too far in exploring these icy waters. But now, these researchers were the first humans to step into this icy new world. But the findings didn't end there. You see, a few days before the Hunga Tonga Hunga volcano erupted, the researchers in the Arctic picked up very notable and uncommon changes in pressure from their equipment. 
It turned out that the massive pressure from the volcano eruption traveled through the Earth's cavity, creating the immense pressure that these scientists recorded in the Arctic. The Hunga Tonga Hunga eruption was one of the most powerful ever, and researchers even tagged it to be more powerful than a nuclear explosion. It created massive tsunamis. Strangely, the impact was felt as far away as the Arctic. This event was a powerful signifier of how our planet is more interconnected than we think. These scientists were able to record the real-time impact of an event that seemed worlds away, proving that even the most remote places on Earth can be significantly affected by events that occur elsewhere. Truly, the Earth is a fascinating ball of a planet. The British Antarctic Survey BAS, shared an exciting discovery from their exploration of Antarctica. During the expedition, they stumbled upon some weird-looking, mysterious marine creatures living deep beneath an Antarctic ice shelf. These guys drilled through about 800 meters of ice in the Filchner Rhone. The Filchner Run is one of Earth's two largest ice shelves, with an area of 422,000 square kilometers and a thickness of over 200 meters. This ice shelf only comes second to the Ross Ice Shelf. Drilling the Filchner Rhone was purely out of curiosity and these researchers had no idea what they'd uncover. Shockingly enough, they found a bunch of fascinating creatures chilling in the icy waters below this ice sheet. Just so you know, these creatures are nothing like the ones we see in our oceans. And they're not penguins either. They are actually weird, alien-like sponges and some other animals that are hard to describe. There's no end to the puzzle of how these aquatic creatures lived and survived under Antarctica's ice shelf. It's not just cold down there, but extremely dark. How do these creatures thrive in complete darkness and freezing temperatures at a distance of 160 miles away from the open ocean? Certainly it's a harsh world down there, but these creatures were cut out for it. The researchers were shocked to stumble upon these unexpected inhabitants because, from what we know, very few creatures can withstand such extreme conditions. This disproves everything we thought we knew about the survival of aquatics. Plus, it introduced us to a new species of animals we hadn't encountered before. The BAS team wasted no time in sharing their discoveries with the public. They published the amazing discovery in several magazines and journals, such as the Frontiers in Marine Science Journal. But still, no one has been able to crack the puzzle of how these animals ended up there in the first place. Have they always been down there undetected? Or did they migrate there after global warming effects started melting the ice shelf? Also, why do these creatures look so weird? Could they be alien life forms? These are the questions scientists and the enlightened public can't stop asking. Moreover, no one knows what these creatures eat to survive down there. Amphipods like those we discussed earlier in this video can be cannibalistic, especially when trying to survive in harsh conditions like those in Antarctica. There's no telling if these alien-like creatures are the same way, but it's very unlikely because if they were cannibals, they would have gone out of existence long ago. These things are completely new to science and raise concern because the ice shelf is melting fast. Scientists now have to ponder what would happen to these small underwater communities when the ice shelf finally collapses. Dr. Hugh Griffiths, a biogeographer who happens to be the study's lead author, explained the current situation. According to him, the discovery raises more questions than it answers. There's an entirely new world down there, and we've barely scratched the surface. It's funny how Antarctica continues to amaze us with discoveries that query our understanding of the Earth and leaves us hungry for more. Oddly enough, the farther you go from open water and sunlight, the fewer living creatures you find. This is why our seas are heavily populated by aquatic life on the surface, but very few animals can survive in the deep where it's almost pitch black and the water pressure is insanely high. You'd expect the same to apply to the Arctic, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Prior investigations into the aquatic life of the Arctic waters showed the existence of small scavengers like fish, worms and krill, but nothing out of the ordinary. These creatures were quite a few, so it was assumed that there'd be little to no creatures farther down the icy waters. After all, it's a lot colder and darker there. The BAS never hoped to find any life forms downhole. In fact, they were looking to extract and collect sediment samples. But instead of finding muddy sediments to collect, they hit solid rock. Upon taking a quick survey with the camera, they found a boulder covered with diverse microorganisms. Scientists call this a microbial mat. 
Microbial mats are multi-layered sheets of microorganisms, usually bacteria and archaea. These organisms employ various unorthodox forms of feeding, like anoxygenic photosynthesis, anaerobic chemotrophy, and fermentation. Thanks to these special breathing and feeding methods, microbial mats can thrive in deep parts of the earth where sunlight or oxygen never gets to. Besides the microbial mat, the BS also found some wispy creatures lining the rock. They looked like some tiny form of jellyfish called hydroids. Dr. James Smith, a geologist on the drilling team, admitted that the discovery was truly mind-boggling. It's the first ever proof of microorganismic life forms surviving on rocks deep beneath the Antarctic ice shelf. The discovery opens up a new world of possibilities in this mysterious landscape, proding us to dig deeper to find out more. The problem with this discovery is that scientists can't say if this rock and microbial mat setting is present everywhere else or if it's peculiar to that particular spot. Most scientists believe it is a rare anomaly and more of these things may be hiding beneath the ice. And so, scientists are on a mission to find more of these underwater systems and possibly extract samples to study. Hopefully then, we'll be able to find out what they eat and how they survive. Microbial creatures like these have some of the most fascinating ways of surviving. Some feed on chemicals like methane, and others gather nutrients from the surrounding waters to survive. Soon enough, we'll know which particular methods these underwater communities utilize. The only challenge now is for scientists to get their hands on them before they get lost forever. Unfortunately, things are getting worse by the day as global warming and climate change keep weakening and collapsing the Antarctic ice shelves. It's only a matter of time before the shelves cave in. And so scientists are racing against time to figure out everything they can about these unique ecosystems so as to come up with credible ways to preserve their existence. Dr. Griffiths, the man at the forefront of this research, explained the urgency of the situation. He stressed that they need to get up close and personal with these creatures, but the fact that they're 900 meters below the ice makes things difficult. Drilling through ice is a very tedious and time-consuming process. On average, it takes one minute to drill through 0.5 meters of ice. This means that to drill through 500 meters of ice, it'll take 1,000 minutes or approximately 17 hours. The immense cold in these regions further slows down the work. Nonetheless, polar scientists are more than willing to bear the risks. These scientists are known for their creativity and resourcefulness. They'll certainly come up with innovative ways to study these mysterious beings and tackle the numerous questions that have arisen due to their discovery. Another reason scientists are interested in these strange creatures is the potential for evolution. There is a high chance that these creatures may evolve in the next decades as the Earth continues to warm. It's similar to what happened during the Eocene epoch. At this time, the Earth was going through a major heat wave, and some smart researchers from the University of Kansas, led by Kristen Miller, discovered that ecosystems always evolve to deal with these crazy temperature changes or behaviors on the Earth. This team discovered fossils on Ellesmere Island, Canada, that revealed what life was like around 52 million years ago. They found evidence proving that the Arctic was once a warm and swampy region. They also found two new species of primates that lived in this ancient Arctic Greenland. The researchers who had this breakthrough named the new species Ignatius Dawsoni and Ignatius McKenney. Analysis of the animal fossils also showed that they were bigger than their modern-day counterparts and had uniquely shaped teeth that indicate they ate lots of hard food. As time passed and the Arctic became a cold and unforgiving land, these creatures were probably too stubborn to migrate like thousands of other primates. Most other primates escaped to warmer parts of North America to seek refuge, and so these two species that didn't leave sadly died and got lost in time. How does all this help us? You see, many things on the Earth and the cosmos happen in cycles, and so understanding past events helps us predict future events. Just as it happened thousands of years ago with these animal species evolving to survive the cold, these new strange creatures will evolve when the Arctic melts and probably becomes a tropical region. Global warming is seriously changing things on the Earth and a lot is happening beneath the vast icy landscapes of the Arctic. No thanks to climate change, the ice sheet covering the Arctic Ocean has undergone severe changes. What was once a solid sheet of ice has now become thin layers only about three feet deep. The region is warming up and the surface ice is quickly melting, turning into water. From the looks of things, 
It's only a matter of time before the Arctic becomes like our regular seas. One of the well-known parts of the Arctic is the Beaufort Sea. The Beaufort Sea is a rich marine environment that favors many migratory birds and mammals. It is located off Alaska's northern coast, east of Point Barrow. Currently, the Beaufort Sea is causing a stir because NASA scientists found something shocking while flying over the Chile Sea. What did they find? They found three strange holes on the surface of the ice covering the sea. Strange circular shapes also surrounded the holes. That has never been seen before, and it raises a lot of questions. What could have made these holes? Could it be a burrowing animal? Or maybe it's the work of aliens? We don't know for now, but investigations are ongoing to answer this puzzle. The scientists who made this strange discovery were doing a routine exercise as part of a mission called Operation Icebridge. This mission aims to study how climate change affects the Arctic and the Antarctic. Their discovery puzzled them, and one theory they could come up with was that seals or whales made these large holes in the ice, and then the water that gushed out created smaller circles around. But there's no documentary to prove this and no prior similar cases. Another theory is that warm water bubbled beneath the ocean to the surface, creating these shapes. This theory is more likely to be true, given the recent warming of this region. Also, these shapes appeared in a thinning ice area that is fast becoming clear water. The ice covering this area is so flexible that you can see wave ripples on its surface. It's like little frozen waves trying to break free. The accelerated warming of the Arctic is a big concern. The Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world, posing a serious risk to the multitude of wildlife, aquatics, and humans that have made this region their home. The number of creatures inhabiting the Arctic has decreased by more than half in the last few decades. Scientists even predict that by 2040, the Arctic will be completely ice-free during the summer. This is surely a major change, and no one knows the full scope of its consequences. If the Arctic warms so much that all the ice melts, then what would befall the other parts of the globe that are already warm? For now, we don't have all the answers about these mysterious circles found by NASA or the accelerated warming of the globe, but we'll keep researching and finding ways to manage and protect this uniquely remote region and the entire globe. NASA isn't the only organization working hard to ensure things don't go haywire. Other organizations like Ocean Conservancy and scientists from around the world are all joining hands to find solutions to keep our oceans, climate, and world healthy and thriving for humans, aquatics, and wildlife alike. The need for cooperation among experts, scientists, and researchers is very important because new threats seem to spring up every day. One such disturbing threat that's currently putting scientists on edge is something called submarine permafrost. This is a subsea permafrost or frozen land that lies beneath the Arctic. What's disturbing about this structure is that it holds 60 billion tons of methane and 560 billion tons of organic carbon. Suppose you're familiar with the degradation effects of methane and carbon on our planet. In that case, you understand how devastating it can be if this permafrost melts and releases all these gases into the air. There is an urgent need to address this issue to save our planet from impending doom. With cooperation, scientists will be able to not only save this newly discovered ecosystem, but will also manage to save the degrading Arctic. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content like this one.